We're taking stock of mountains of debt, both on the state and federal level and the politics around it. We'll start in Washington, D.C., where Congress has two weeks to raise the debt ceiling. If the borrowing limit is not raised, the United States could default on its debt. Amid political wrangling on Capitol Hill, President Biden today urged Congress to take action and warned that financial market worries over the debt ceiling could impact a lot of people. In the days ahead, even before the default date, people may see the value of their retirement accounts shrink. They may see interest rates go up, which will ultimately raise their mortgage payments and car payments. Meantime, here in New Jersey, the Murphy administration and state lawmakers earlier this year agreed to put billions of dollars into a special fund to be used to pay down some of the state's outstanding debt. But so far, no money has been used for debt repayment. Our John Reitmeyer is looking into why. What Treasury has told me in response to really issues that are being raised by Republican lawmakers who are in the minority in the legislature is that there is work going on behind the scenes on the debt relief initiative. For the full story on that behind the scenes work, check out John's article on njspotlightnews.org. It's looking like a COVID-19 related slowdown was just a blip for New Jersey's film industry. State officials estimate that more than $500 million will be spent for television, film and other media production in New Jersey this year. At least two major retailers are already rolling out shopping discounts well ahead of the holiday shopping season. Amazon today announced it's starting to offer Black Friday worthy deals and this weekend, Target is kicking off promotional deals as well. Retailers are facing supply chain issues, so they're urging customers to shop early this year to make sure gifts arrive on time. Now, here's a check on Wall Street trading for today. I'm Rhonda Schaffler, and those are your top business stories.